Hi guys, welcome to episode number 25 of Playing Sports Tech Talks. Good to see y'all. EJ, it's hard to believe that we've had 25 episodes so far. Man, I'm telling you, 25 episodes, there have been some really good ones. Mm -hmm. um, we're actually building on this episode from our previous metal episode where we talked about degrees and angles with flap discs. So we're building on, we're continuing on that same subject line with another product. So very excited about yeah, it. That's for sure. And it's an inter interesting product too. We're going to be talking about the mini SMTs. You've talked about the SMTs in the past before and some of the benefits. Well, we continue that on. We dig a little bit deeper into it with these mini SMTs. And uh, we've got a lot to talk about today. We sure do. I'm Nick DeMars. I'm EJ Yancey. And uh, the thing we're going to talk about today is something you may not know a whole lot about. I know EJ has done some work on our SMT line, and we've talked about that a good bit in some past episodes. But today we're going to talk about the mini, mini SMTs. Uh, nice little product line here. It can do some things, and you'll see here in the near future what kind of things it can do that other SMTs cannot do. But to get us started, EJ, first question I want to ask you is what does SMT stand for? It's actually a, an acronym for a German word called Schleifmotteller. So that's unique to Klingspor. Uh, if, you, if you translated it directly to English, I'm told it stands for map sand, mop sanding disc. Uh, but it's something unique to us uh, that uh, really what it comes down to is their flap disc. So that's just how we refer to them. And you'll hear us refer to them throughout previous tech talks and this one as well. Good deal. Schleif Mop Teller, very interesting. So we're talking about mini SMTs today. What are mini SMTs? So on, on our previous tech talk, we talked a lot about hard to get to welds um, with a specific degrees. We were talking about that 12 degree angle that really help with hard to get to welds. So we wanted to build on that uh, in this Tech Talk, Nick, and talk about another product that we have called the Mini SMTs that are basically flap disc uh, in a smaller version and that really helps with those welds that are super hard to get to. The ones that you're just don't quite look right and they're up there in a corner and you're trying to smooth them out, these are what you want to go for. Hmm. Interesting. What uh, what kind of specific applications are we looking at for these? I know you mentioned the fact that some of the bigger SMTs can't get into certain areas, but uh, you know what are we looking at? First off, all types of metal these will work on. So your super hard stuff, you know, steel, stainless steel, all that good stuff. Um, but specifically, what we're looking at here here is the hard to get to angles, like in rail. Think of railing, maybe inside of, the, of a box or something like that. That's in a corner that's really hard to get to. Uh, and, and we assume, you know, since since these are smaller versions, they're not going to fit on an angle grinder. Right, right. So what kind of tool are we looking at then? Yeah, so most angle grinders, you know, you, you thread something on like a 5 8 11 um, or 7 8 These particular uh, discs go on what's called a die grinder. So we have, uh, and we also we sell these with CleanSport as well, we have a certain backing pad that they use that goes on your die grinder. And then depending on which size of flat disc you go for, that's how uh, you would choose which backing pad you want to use on that die grinder. Mm. And so I see these have a uh, quarter inch mandrel on them, but how do they connect? I mean, what's the connection system? So it's super easy. Uh, they just unroll here. Um, and then they're, you just can simply unroll them just like that. And uh, they have a little thread here and they just roll right back in. Very simple connection. Uh, and that makes it real convenient when you're needing to from one grit to another. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, we always say time is money. So instead of sitting here and, you know, messing around and trying to spend a lot of time switching something out on a tool, you just simply roll these off, roll them back on. You're saving yourself time, a lot of time and not, you know, looking everywhere for your tools and or a wrench or something to change something out with. So, so far, so we, we've established that you're getting in tighter spots with these and uh, they're a lot quicker connect. Um, what, I see we've got a couple of sizes sitting here. What sizes do we have in these? So they come in two inch, which is the one you're uh, holding right now, and then they come in three inch as well. 
So, and we actually, we have them in uh, different grit ranges. So with our zirconia, which you'll see here on the screen, zirconia grain is, uh, these come in 36 grit to 120 grit. And then you see the uh, pinkish color here. These are ceramic grain. Um, so those come in uh, 36 up to 80 as well. And we've talked quite a bit about the, the various grains on, on Tech Talks. And uh, with the ceramic and the aluminum zirconia, you're getting a lot longer life out of these. And so, you know, from a, from a, a metal standpoint, me being a wood guy, from a metal standpoint, how is that going to uh, at, give us an advantage. Right, right. So the typical grain that's used is aluminum oxide, and it has its place in metal. But the reason you would want to use these super tough grains is uh, these are being used with a lot of pressure. So anytime you're grinding on metal, you have to use a lot of pressure, and you need a grain that's going to stand up for that. And the zirconia grain is great for that. It packs a heavy punch. Um, and the ceramic grain, it does the same thing. It packs that same heavy punch, but it lasts a little bit longer and you'll get a little bit more use out of a ceramic grain. But both grains are great uh, for metal grinding. Hmm. And we've talked about it several times over the episodes that uh, some of these tougher abrasive grains, you know, with abrasive grains, you've got two different kind of characteristics. You've got a sharpness and a hardness, and then you've got a toughness. And they're inversely proportional because when a material is very tough, it's not very sharp or very hard. But when it's very hard, sharp and hard, it's not very tough. Uh, especially when you get to these, these ceramics, you've got a little bit of the best of both worlds. So I see what you're saying as far as the applications go. Uh, another question for you. As far as our regular QRCs, QDCs, QMCs, things like that go with the flat abrasive, what kind of an advantage does this give us as far as finishing and stuff like that? So it's going to get, so SMTs in general will give you a great finish as opposed to like a grinding disc or, or a uh, fiber disc. So the way the flaps are made and produced, it will give you a great finish on metal. You kind of get a perfect between aggression and finish with a flap disc over what you would uh, like a QMC or, a QMC or a QRC, which is basically just a, a piece of sandpaper that's been put on a backing pad. Um, so you'll get you'll get a lot more aggression out of these as you would a regular QMC, QRC, but you're also going to get a great finish as well. And um, it, at that point, you know, and this is for another Tech Talk one day, but after you get your finish with your uh, mini flap disc, you may move to a non-woven product at that point. So you can uh, essentially cut out some steps with these. Nice. So, you know, a lot of abrasives, we're talking either removal or we're talking finishing, but this one seems like it does it all. Yeah, it, and, and a lot of flap discs can do that for you. So, and that's a big focus on these is these flap discs are just small enough to get in there to help you grind and finish at the same time. Um, you know, and then you could possibly move up to a non-woven or something like that. But these will, these give you the best of both worlds in my opinion. Nice. So at this point, we're going to take a little break here. We're going to step down into the work area and we're going to actually see, EJ's going to show us how these tools actually work to your advantage. So here we are now where the magic happens. This is where it all takes place, right down here in, in the maintenance department. And uh, we're going to look at the uh, applications of some of these. Uh, EJ is going to show us uh, some of the benefits of having such a small flap wheel. So tell us a little bit about the difference between working with something like this and maybe something that's on the angle grinder. Well, so first you see right here, I got a rail here where we've got some inside. We did some inside welds, right? You know, we've removed some of the paint that was on it and we still got these welds here. Um, and you know, some guys, they're not too worried about some weld showing, but some guys want to get all, you know, they, they want their workpiece to look perfect. And uh, one of the issues you run, run into whenever you get in the railing is if you're using just a regular SMT or flap disc, this is a four and a half inch, right? Probably the most popular on the market as far as size. So whenever I'm in here, I'm using this guy, and maybe I'm grinding here, and I want to get that corner. Look, 
Oh, you can't, can't get in there very can't well. Can't get in there. Looky there. Can't get in there at all. So what, what this product that we're talking about today, the mini SMTs, you can actually get up in here, and this is a three inch, right? This is one of the larger ones, but just look at the difference already and how I can maneuver throughout this rail to get to these really hard to get to. Wells. And even with the workpiece laying tight down on the table, you can still get that thing down into those corners. Yeah, it's very versatile throughout all the corners of this. Um, and even think about if we had a box here, we could even get down into a box railing. So uh, just so many different applications. And, and the other thing we talked about upstairs is when this guy runs out on you, it's real easy. Twist there. Here's my other mini SNT. Twist right on there, and now I'm back to work, and I've lost maybe 10 seconds of my time. So, really great, versatile, and um, you know, now it's all that's left to do is uh, show show how it grinds. Let's do it. So the first one I'm going to be grinding with is the two-inch ceramic. Okay, now I'm going to grind with the uh, three inch zirconia and if you'll notice I've switched my backing pad here to the three inch backing pad. finish up Nick I think uh, the big thing for me while I was uh, doing this job is the mobility that you get from the two and the three inch I'm not trying to hold my angle grinder at a crazy position uh, switching in and out it's just really mobile and uh, it's just a great way I think to grind pieces like this absolutely and one thing I noticed too is you can kind of eliminate a step because a lot of times you'd have to grab a carbide burr and try to round those corners off, and it looks to me like you did a perfect job rounding those corners off in one step. Right, you're exactly right. It's a perfect tool for finishing and grinding, and whenever you can get sizes like this for applications such as this, I think every metal shop needs these particular products. Absolutely. Well, I think that wraps it up for today's episode of Kling Spores Tech Talk. We're thanking you for joining us. Uh, I'm Nick DeMars. I'm EJ Yancey. Have a good day.